Today we go over new details of Star Wars Episode 9, the final film of the Skywalker Saga. This is Mike Zero here. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, as you all know, J.J. Abrams is currently hard at work for the final film of this trilogy. We do know that he has a lot on his shoulders in order to get this right, in order to satisfy a majority of the fans around the world. Now, I don't know if you guys heard the big news a couple of days ago that a lot of script rewrites are currently taking place right now by J.J. Abrams and could very well explain as to why he was not seen on, sket on set over in the Scottish Highlands. Now, I don't know if you guys saw those leaked photographs over in the Scottish Highlands consisting of Poe Dameron, Finn, and Naomi Aki's character as well as Chewbacca. However... Alright, we have been he hearing a lot of things about these script rewrites taking place for Episode 9 to do some adjustments to the characters of Chewbacca. But not only that, J.J. Abrams may also be rewriting the ending of Star Wars Episode 9 for actors Mark Hamill, Eunice Watamo, and Adam Driver, all of which will portray characters Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca and Kylo Ren. Now exactly what would he be changing for the ending of episode 9 that have all to do with Kylo Ren, Luke, and Chewbacca? These are some of the main characters in episode 9. So far no changes have been taken place for the character of Rey as far as we know which is great. Uh, but looking at episode 9 here, I think that the changes in the script are a good move. Whether this is a response to the backlash or not, I'm not quite sure. It could be, it could not be. But we do know one thing here is that JJ is of course making changes for a specific reason. Now, with J.J. Abrams as the director, we also have Chris Terrio as the writer. He helped out J.J. Abrams with the script, so I'm sure that he is also involved in these rewrites for the movie. Now, we do know that J.J. is treating Luke Skywalker in a totally different way for this film. He will be doing a lot of special things for the character, as well as General Leia by use of unused footage from The Force Awakens and The Last Jedi. Now, the biggest subject of all is, of course, how is this movie going to end? Is it going to be an open-ended ending where we could possibly have a Star Wars Episode 10, 11, and 12, an entirely new trilogy, kind of expanding off of the characters of Rey, Poe, Kylo, and Finn, where maybe Kylo and or Rey has a child, and that child is a part of episodes 10, 11, and 12, if they want to keep the whole family tree aspect Star Wars in there. Or, maybe this is true that it is indeed the end of all wars, and it's going to stop right here, as John Boyega has stated before in the past, that this movie is going to be an all-out war, and the end of all wars. We also know that apparently Disney and Lucasfilm are changing Ryan Johnson's trilogy. I know that there's a lot of rumors right now that it's cancelled, but the more concrete thing is that they're changing it to have it connect with the sequel trilogy, which could very well mean that his trilogy will venture out into the unknown regions since apparently episode 9 will actually be going into the unknown regions for a certain plot point of the film. It's said that actually the First Order headquarters reside in the unknown regions during the events of this movie, so we'll have to wait and see. But knowing J.J. Abrams, this is the thing. Would you guys be very upset if they created a near-exact ending of Return of the Jedi, where it's like an Endor-esque celebration scene, and you have this big shot of all the main characters such as Luke, Leia, Rey, Kylo, all of the good guys all grouped up together if Kylo Ren does turn to the good side again and then cut to credits. How would you guys feel about an ending that would be so similar to Return of the Jedi? I don't know about you, but I want a real original ending that's going to give you the sense that, well... This is it, right? There really can't be another episode 10, 11, and 12. However, I would love to see a 10, 11, and 12, but I can't see them doing a Return of the Jedi-esque ending where it would essentially make it sure to the fans that there's going to be no more wars after this. And then having another war conflict in 10, 11, and 12 
may kind of, you know, kind of go against that whole entire idea. But to me, I think that a 10, 11, and 12 would be a great way only if they're expanding off of the characters, you know what I'm saying? Like, if they're expanding off of the characters of Kylo and Rey, maybe if they have a child, it focuses on that character. That, to me, would be proper for those episodes. But looking at how J.J. Abrams may very well be changing the ending to Episode 9 throughout all of these script rewrites for the movie, how do you feel about that? Is this a good or a bad thing? Or would you guys feel more confident in a film where he wouldn't really need to do rewrites during post-production or even principal photography at that. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Night to